Hey everybody, for some reason my video cut off in the middle, so I'm joining you again mid-swipe here, and I dropped this because the phone rang and I got messed up. If this turns out halfway decent, it'll be a miracle. Mm -hmm. I may have to redo it. I mean... And when I said I usually can handle it, that was part of what I meant by... Oh, shit, I forgot the stupid dead gum, y'all. I gotta calm down and try to get my shit straight. I forgot the dead gum cell activator. No wonder it wasn't working right. Shoot. All right, let's see. This will make a difference, huh? I like um, using these uh, thin uh, slices of the paper. I can control it easier. At least I have that illusion. That's what control usually is, an illusion. But I feel like I'm able to manipulate it better. And sometimes you have to kind of press that down as it goes. It doesn't always want to stay. Well, we may be able to rectify the situation after all. I don't know. We'll see. My, I'm just scatterbrained and I'm tired. Um, you know, we were in Bossier all morning, and uh, then um, I got back just in time to figure out my kids' school, and um, then I had to go. I want that little spot there covered up. I didn't like that spot. I had to go take care of my ex-husband's dog, because they're going duck hunting, and I had to go let him out, and... Now, I am not a dog person. I have tried to be very hard, but I'm just not. So, but I'm taking care of him. And um, I let him out, let him run around. And um, anyway, it all was fine. And then I got home and I just haven't had time to do anything, it seems like. All right, let's see if I can save this. It's not looking really good. I mean, the left side looks okay. I think it would be headed in the right direction. The right side, for some reason, well, you see it. <laughs> um, not too crazy about it. But I want to see if I can. I know y'all can't see right now. I apologize, but I got to see if I can I gotta just pour that white edge off and then I'll straighten it back up where y'all can see that's a lot of paint I'm pouring off there but I gotta do it I mean it's better just re-pour the whole damn thing cause um they might end up being okay um I know that camera angle is not right Exactly, I'm sorry. I I have it too far over. And I didn't realize it. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Alright, see where we are? Okay. Now. I just poured off a shit ton of paint. <sighs> and I need to pour off some more off this other side over here. So let's see if I have enough to do that. I realize that my angle is all messed up on this one. I'm sorry. Y'all can't see very well. Okay, 
it's moving pretty good now. That corner gone. Down there. And I want that white blob gone. And then I think I might be okay with this piece. It might be pretty after that. The colors are beautiful. Um, okay. All right, y'all. That angle is really off, and I can't fix that right now because I've got paint on. This is awesome looking, you guys. I can't believe it. The cells are beautiful. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know what happened. See them? Look at that. Um, I would fix y'all, but I can't. I got paint all over my hands. Um, but I will definitely make it where you can see it here in just a few minutes. Um, I'm stretching this because it's gorgeous. And, um, it is, um, it just needs to be stretched a little more. I mean, I can't believe it because I poured a whole lot of paint off of it already, but, um, there, y'all can see a little bit better that way. I'm trying to get that white corner down there to disappear. It's going, going, going. All right. Now. I want that to come more to the center. And then it looks like some kind of star exploding or something. <laughs> And there's one problem in that corner. See that down there? Or that, I guess my hands probably did that, but it swiped over. So I'm going to pour a little bit of that off. I don't like the way that corner looks. It's not pretty. But I'll just pour a little bit of that off and then it'll be done because it's actually beautiful. I don't know what, um,. I don't know how it got that way because I screwed up just about every way you can. It's taken a long time to um, to move now because it's stretched pretty good right now. I want to get it right. I want to get that corner covered up. Okay. That's pretty good. I think that's beautiful. Um, I'm just trying now. Um, I want to push that white back just a little bit and expose more of this color. I don't mind having some of it on there, but I don't need that much. There's too much pretty color down here to have a big white blob. Just bear with me, you guys. I know you can't see very well, and uh, I know this takes a long time. I end up having to put my fingers in between the um, the wood and the canvas on these because they get so slippery. I'm loving this. I think it's beautiful. Oh man, that tape got in the shit. 
I was fixing to be done with it too, and that tape flopped over that corner down there. Y'all see that? Now I gotta let it ooze and fill that in. Oh, crap. Well, that makes me mad. If I can just fill it in a little bit, I'll dab some paint on it out of the cup and fix it. Rather than trying to pour it tilt it over that way because I don't really want to distort anything else. It's so pretty. Um, let's see what I want here. I want... Okay. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try it off. No, that doesn't look good. All right, you guys, up we go. I know you cannot see it at all now. I know that. Um, this shouldn't take but a minute, but I, I have to do this. I have to be able to see it or else I'll pour too much off. So I have to leave it, do it like this for just one second. And then I'll show y'all how it, how it looks. It's moving. It's just going to take a minute. I think I can turn around where y'all can see better. How about that? I think that's beautiful, though. It's really uh, different than anything I've ever done. I think the colors are awesome. And the lacing, I've never seen cells like that in a Shelly Art piece before. Not one that I did, for sure. I just want that corner to get corrected. It's moving pretty fast now. I got it. Got some momentum going. But that tape just dabbed over it and just totally screwed it up. All right. <clears throat> now that corner needs a little bit of paint over it. That's the thing about these. It's like I told y'all the other day. I manipulate them way more than I do the other ones. You know, tilting and squirming and, you know, changing around. Um, they're harder for me to get happy with. I just want more of that color to stretch out. Less of that white. Because the color is just so beautiful. Anyway, if you're into stained glass and you're around Louisiana or whatever, that Ed's Emporium is a really nice place to go. I couldn't have been happier. And their prices are really good, too. I have a bunch of glass and four pieces of cane that are six feet long. And uh, a whole bunch of glass, and it was a um, uh, hundred dollars, right around a hundred dollars. I do see that I that tape flubbed up that left side over there, and I'm gonna fix that with just a little bit of white. My tape was too long, and it. You know, those little corners, they kind of uh, screwed up. I think that's beautiful, you guys. I really like it. 
Let me let y'all see up close. I think I've gotten the glare um, somewhat better. <laughs> Perfected, but it is somewhat better. Um, the glare on my, right here, on my piece. Um, there used to be a really bad one, and look at that. I don't know, y'all. I think it's really pretty. Um, anyway, there used to be a really bad glare. Okay. It is better, believe it or not. Look at those cells, how unusual. Look at that. And the lacing, it's just beautiful. I think. Um, it would have been prettier if I had quit screwing with it. But I kept messing up those edges and having to, you know. Okay. Look at that part there. I love that. With that uh, gold and, uh, and this stripe across here. It looks like some kind of planetary something or other, you know. Anyway. Um, okay. I'm done being impressed with myself now because I don't have any credit for that. That's just dumb luck that that worked out because I screwed that up every which way you could have. And I think it's pretty, but uh, it should have been a disaster. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it every time y'all are here. And you new subscribers, wonderful, wonderful to have you. Thank you so much. Um, and if you haven't heard me say it, um, please stop by and leave me comments. Tell me what you're up to. Ask me what I'm up to. Chat, whatever you want to do. Um, I love that. And I leave my email address at the bottom of the description on every video I can remember to. Um, which means most of them. Because <laughs> I forget it sometimes. Um, but I do that so you can email me if you want to. Um, if you want to exchange phone numbers and talk about something over the phone, that's cool too. Um, if you're having a problem or you have a question or you're working on stained glass or painting or cement sculpture and monuments or resin. Uh, any of that, you know. Uh, Please don't hesitate to um, to ask me or, um, you know, discuss it with me or just tell me what you're doing. You know, I'm interested. Um, I like to talk about art. I like to share about art. And I enjoy um, having you guys. So, uh, please don't hesitate to do that if you want to. Um, I'm, I totally welcome it. And um, I appreciate all your comments and that you take the time out of your day to let me know what's going on or to say that you appreciate something I did or whatever. I'm totally humbled by that and flattered. And I really appreciate it. So, I just want to extend my gratitude to everybody, um, new and old, you know. Um, and if you are new, you know, um, please uh, like and subscribe. And then um, then you won't miss any of this fun stuff, you know, because I think we do have fun here. So, I appreciate y'all being here. Y'all have another wonderful day and um, take care of each other. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.